Today we're talking with David from 55 Vending. David, tell us how the vending system works. Yeah, thanks Heather. Um, what we do is set people up in, in vending businesses. So essentially provide the machines and all the machines are new machines, um, generally combination drink and snack machines. Now we also find the sites for you and how we find the sites is purely and simply by researching them initially and initially we use a telemarketing company who will go out and um, make calls to uh, specifically uh, selected locations and determine whether they're suitable before we send our site locators in to secure them. That way it's a fairly strategic approach, we get the right quality location so that people end up with better sales results. We also set you up with a buying group so you will be able to buy directly from companies like Coca-Cola and Sweeps and Smiths and people like that. You place your own orders and you have the stock delivered to your home. All of the machines become standard with back-to-base monitoring and that means that you are able to monitor the sales remotely so you'll know exactly what stock to take and you know exactly when to go to fill up the machines. So by logging onto the internet, onto the back-to-base monitoring site, you'll be able to keep a track of how your machines are performing at any, any given moment in, in the day. In addition to that, all the machines have the latest payment systems. So they will have a credit card reader, they will have a note reader, and they will have a coin mechanism. So that way you can make sure that you can maximise all your sales opportunities because what we're seeing today is credit card sales are somewhere in the vicinity of 55% of sales in a lot of locations. So in a nutshell, Heather, that's predominantly what we do. Okay, so how long would it take me in a week to look after a machine? Well, most people um, start off with a package of around five machines, and that's generally about uh, five to six hours per week, so roughly half a day or so. Um, and once they get a little bit more into a routine, they're generally a bit less, it's somewhere around about four. So, and that's, you know, filling the machines, um, collecting the money, and, and obviously depositing in the bank. So can I work that in with a full-time job? Yeah, most people do. Um, over 80% of our clients are people that either have a full-time position or alternatively they run another business and they're looking for extra cash flow. So yes, you can in most cases. Okay, so what sort of people are normally interested in vending? Wow, just about everybody. Um, my youngest client started when he was 14 um, and ran a vending business all the way through uh, high school and university. Um, my oldest client today is 76 and he retired at 70, didn't really want to retire but from uh, the outset as soon as he retired and even before he retired he bought some vending machines and today runs 48. We have a lot of mothers that do vending because it's convenient to, uh, to do it while the, the kids are at school so during the middle of the day when uh, they don't have their children responsibilities they can go and do that, contribute to the household budget. Uh, people who, um, young couples that see a way of recycling money through uh, mortgages to pay off their mortgage quicker, um, people who have taken redundancy packages. There's a whole range of people that get into vending. Um, primarily it's a lifestyle decision. People get into vending purely and simply because um, they're looking to change their lifestyle. Instead of working five days a week, they can generally earn um, a pretty good income by working two or three if they take the business to a full-time level. Okay, so what sort of return could we expect? Well, in most cases, um, mm. you know, you're looking at a return of somewhere around about 50% uh, on your capital. So, you know, if you were to spend sort of, you know, $50,000 on a package of vending machines, and that can be anywhere between sort of, you know, five to ten machines, depending on the size, um, you would be looking at an income of somewhere around twenty-five to $30,000 a year. Um, larger packages and we're seeing people today sort of you know getting you know sort of 10 to 12 machines and spending around a hundred thousand dollars infected in and are actually looking at returns of sort of fifty six that fifty to six thousand dollars a year which basically means that um, it's as good as a full-time income in a lot of instances okay so what happens if I have an issue with my machine can I give you a call Absolutely. We have technicians available, so if you have a technical problem with a machine, uh, feel free to, uh, to give us a call and we'll certainly be able to resolve that for you. And sometimes we can resolve them over the phone and sometimes um, it's about sending a technician out. But in the majority of cases, it's an over-the-phone solution. 
Um, we also um, have, you also have the ability to call us for business related issues. So if you uh, feel that you want to develop sales in a particular machine and you're not sure what products to change, then generally you can give us a call and we'll be able to sort of guide you as to, to how to set up your range to suit that particular location. And we also back that up with ongoing newsletters that we send out to uh, our clients on a, on a monthly basis. We have a lot of specials that are offered by the, uh, the locations. And consequently, uh, what we're seeing um, is people taking advantage of those specials um, and obviously gives them a better profit. Mm. Okay, great. That sounds like a good cash flow business. It is. Um, a couple of other things that are also important. Um, we emphasise uh, healthy eating in our machines. Um, mm. And the government um, initiated traffic light system, which involves uh, red, amber and green um, products and essentially red are products that um, have a, don't have a lot of nutrition, amber some nutrition and green uh, is products that are fully nutritional. And all our machines that come out today, we identify the category that those products fall in by placing a dot beside the products. So that way um, locations are now starting to see that we're looking after their clients by um, by their, looking after their staff by identifying uh, the products that are in their machines to help them be good corporate citizens. We also have the ability, uh, because we're HACCP accredited, we can also offer fresh foods uh, into machines, so things like you know pies and sausage rolls and focaccias and um, okay. rolls and wraps and sandwiches and, and other types of meal options are becoming a really important part of the um, the business today and we're seeing that as an opportunity. It's not something that everybody wants to get into because there's a lot more involved with fresh foods, but it is an option if people want to go down that path. Okay, great. Well, thank you for your time today, David.